Okay, good morning, everyone. Okay, we'll continue our book, uh, book reading this morning. The Theotary to Service Excellence by Jeffrey K. Laika and Karen Ross. Today, we'll continue our book reading on page 130 and we'll be looking at reflection on developing lean process. Reflection on developing lean process. Remember, chapter 4 says developing lean process. So, we'll be looking at the reflection on developing lean processes. See you on a short story of the NL Service Corporation. So the NL service story is one we have lived through more times than we, ca we care to remember. Unfortunately, it's most often morphs from a vital organic pilot to a big box consulting firm deploying tools mechan mechanistically across the organization as is illustrated in chapter 6. Senior leaders often lack the mindset to understand the remarkable things that happen in their own organization and what it takes to replicate it. What must be replicated is the experience and learning, not the tools and solution. NL Service just got started on its lean journey. Leslie's primary goal in the early pilot stage were 1. Develop Sam as an executive champion. Without Sam on board, the game would be over. We saw that in the second ending of the story, he was critical in persuading President Mike Galhard to continue building on the organic approach instead of shifting to what would have been a deadly mechanistic approach. Does that mean that Sam was the ideal champion with the ideal training by Leslie? The answer is decidedly no. In an ideal world, Sam would have been as the Gemba regularly, daily, if possible, learning along with the team. Sam would have gotten his hands dirty and participated in the observation, measurement, and analysis. Leslie quickly concluded this was not likely, and the way to win over Sam was to demonstrate what Lynn can do. In results, in a better process, and in engaging people. Notice that what got, Sam to, what got Sam so turned on was the people engagement he saw when he finally did visit the game bar. Since Leslie won, there would be plenty of time to continue, educate, to continue to educate Sam. In the later chapters on developing people and implementing strategies, we will talk more about how to win over the right people. The main point is that it is critical to develop an execu executive champion and the most effective approach will depend on the individual. 2. Create a successful demonstration pilot project. Leslie needed to prove that Lean applies in not just a service operation but in NL services operations. In our experience, almost all people think or their organization is unique. This applies to NL services and unfortunately even to individual departments with NL services. We are different. We do not build cars. We do not have rep repetitive operations. We have to behave differently with every customer and we cannot estimate time of focus demand. We can only rely on our own experience to get through each day and don't need advice from consultants who do not understand our business. The way to begin to sell people on a new vision is to give them an opportunity to directly experience what it, what it can be like. They need to experience success. Success in this case goes beyond results. Recall in Figure 4.1 that in a real lean management system, it matters more how to develop a solution than the specific solution developed. Mechanistic deployment of lean means specifying solutions and auditing whether the people have all the boxes checked. In organic deployment, we want people to experiment and learn through experience, both success and failures. But the search process itself is specified. Present a clear challenge, gather data and facts, 
go to the Gemba, work as a team, experiment in the rapid PDCA circle, and treat people with respect. None of these are optional. A, success, a successful demonstration project means engaging people in a good process that leads to desired results. Three, begin to educate. Education in Lean happens primarily at the Gemba. Well-run classroom training programs can be effective in raising awareness. They can even teach certain, certain technical skills. But to truly understand Lean transformation, one must experience it firsthand at the Gemba on the real problems. Through the demonstration, through the demonstration, through the demonstration project, Leslie educated people about what, how, and why. She developed advocates who could help persuade others to develop a good process yielding successful results so they could become further advocates and so on. The demonstration projects can also serve as a good and see classroom. By touring people through the project area with the people working there as guards, we can raise awareness and generate degree of enthusiasm for Lean. If they can do it, why can't we? Where does NL service need to go from here? It would be very clear if it had hired a big box consultant, consulting firm. NL service would have spread lean broadly and quickly accordingly to a prescribed <coughs> recipe. What NL needs is to find the right balance between breadth and depth, and this balance will be constantly shifting as the company progresses. The reason for a vision is to provide a general direction for a long-term journey. The journey is a process of discovery, not a process of implementing known solution. With Leslie guidance, NL Service took a step off the ledge into a zone of uncertainty. It has to assess that the prevailing assumption about the one best way to organize a process is limiting progress. The company needs to learn to adapt and Learn, learn, not specify and expect obedience. The transformation process itself is filled with uncertainty. Instead of prescribing recipe, instead of prescribed recipe, we want thinking leaders who are learning through PDCA circle. They are constantly trying things, reflecting and making informed best guesses about the next step driven by a true not vision. Does this mean that there are, no guideline, there are no guidelines and there is no body of knowledge that can help, that can help any other service on its journey? Not at all. There is plenty that is known. Leslie, in fact, was quite knowledgeable about the tools and principles of Lean. When she suggested that the team use a certain method of observing and recording data, it was based on standard tools applied in the right way to the right problem. As the demonstration area advanced, the team members were beginning to apply tools like visual management, metric boards, and standard work. Leslie realized that teaching them small bits of information about tools and methods as they needed them to address problems was more effective than running a lean basic training class. In this book, we'll not be teaching the technical tools of Lean, though these are very powerful. They are covered in depth in a variety of books, including the Toyota Way Field Book. At the, at the end of this book, we'll would have a recommended reading list. What we will provide in the next chapters are some generic problems for Lean processes. These are indeed the guidelines to answer what a lean process looks like and why. As we will see, NL incorporation had only scratched the surface of what is possible. Okay, this year was for our reading says our reading today. So reflecting on developing our lean um, process. It took us um backward, reminded us of how NL services started, how they used tools, how they 
everybody was involved in bringing about their own ideas and solution of what um of how they could solve the 10 line um, problem their consultant that's leslie she didn't just do it by herself she didn't just bring out some prescribed list like a doctor would um you know do prescribe some drugs for you to take and stuff like that everybody was engaged in bringing out a problem and how she did that was to create a team if we can remember she created a team from the ctpm and also from the credit transaction processors so she created a team with these two departments and with their help and in the process they all learned how to apply um, tools and bring up ideas of how to solve their problem so where we write this actually telling us that first of all it is important to develop an, an executive um, champion you know which is depends on the individual you have to look for you have to make that individual or whoever is in charge of the company have a vision then the next one said create a successful demonstration which is talking about involving everybody in, an, in the experience of you know bringing out or the journey everybody experiencing that journey of bringing out a solution it doesn't have to be that you have to bring up a result or it has to be it has to um, the results has to be gotten immediately. It is a journey and it is a process and everybody has to be involved and understand. Then begin to educate. Leslie had to educate each and every one in that team to know how to, you know, bring up ideas, know the tools to use and the rest of it. So that is it for our reading and this morning on our book, Toyota to Service Excellence. Thank you.